Hey guys, it's Tom Cheswick, professional photographer and artistic retoucher. Today we're going to go over skin retouching. And the program we're going to be using is On One Photo Raw. It's the 2017 version, latest up to date. And the amazing part about this is we're going to actually be able to do skin retouching on a raw image. We're not going to have to convert it to a JPEG first or a TIFF file. We're not going to have to use layers in Photoshop. We're going to actually be working on the raw file. So the advantage there is at any point we want to make some adjustments down the road, we're not losing any quality of the original file. So this is the photo program we're using, again, Photo Raw, and it's at on1.com. And now for my shameless plug, we're going to be looking at images that I took during a workshop that I gave to the Arizona Professional Photographers Association. And if you'd like a workshop like that for your organization, or if you just have a private club, a few photographers want together, come over to Cheswick Photography and check out the workshop section. Um, also, if you're looking for a professional retouch artist, you can always look at me on Facebook, and it's my retoucher. All right, enough of the shameless plugs. Let's get down to work, guys. So here's an image. It's already cropped. I did do a little bit adjustments in develop. And here's the main image. So whenever I look at a retouching job, I first kind of open up the image and look at it overall and look at areas that I know I'm going to want to enhance. So we have a little problem here, shoulder, hair on the shoulder. So we'll probably get rid of that. We do have a few blemishes here and here and maybe a little eye bags that we'd want to soften. Um, and then just kind of generally smooth out the skin a little bit. So we'll do all of that um, today's session. Also, I look at highlights and shadows and look if I'd want to improve those. Um, basically, this is pretty well lit, has a nice uh, three-dimensional look because of the nice lighting. So we have highlights and we do have shadow areas. So we're probably not going to adjust those too much. So again, looking at the areas, we'll kind of zoom in just a little bit. And first we're going to just tackle the hair down here. The easiest way to fix that is coming over and just grabbing our perfect eraser. And with that, we can just grab our brush, go over the hair, Okay, so all these changes again are being done to the raw file. What On One does is it writes a side card file. Um, so we're not having a big 500 megabyte Photoshop file. It's actually just the size of the raw file and a very small sidecar that keeps all the instructions of what we're doing here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Actually could use the same tool to attack uh, the blemish areas. Now I know we're going to be using a smooth skin softening filter and I'll show you that in a little bit. But to help that along I try to get rid of all the major areas before we do anything with the filter. Okay, so just kind of going over that pretty quick. Again, just getting the major areas. Next, there's two things that I'd like to tackle, and that would be to soften the eye bags right there, and just this little area here. It's a little um, 
kind of a contrast area. So we're going one brush down and with that we want to make sure the opacity is pretty low. I have it set to 32. I like the feather to be pretty big and you can just kind of go over any areas. You may need to go over more than once but it's better to do that than to have a huge high setting. Again, we're looking for just soft transactions. We're not looking to remove everything. We want to have that texture there. And any area, again, that's not looking too good, I may just kind of go over that as well. Okay. Perfect. It's looking really nice. So depending on what you want, you could actually stop something similar to this. Um, we're going to take it a step further. We're going to, we're in effects. We're going to add a filter. We're going to add skin retouching. Okay, so once that comes up, the first thing I like to do is to pick her natural skin tone right there. And then I normally set all these back down pretty low because I want to see what each one does and if I actually need it. So if I adjust this all the way up, and if I look, it's not really affecting the skin tone so much. It affects the hair a little bit more. So I'm going to take that down. Let's see what the smoothing does. Now that's where it's really softening that skin. Here we have the Barbie doll look, total plastic, total fake. Somewhere 40 to 60 range, still pretty strong. I'm gonna do this a little bit stronger than normal just so it actually shows up on the video. The shine, I'm not worried too much about the shine because those highlights should be there. It's not like she's sweating or anything like that. It actually looks good. And skin tone looks nice as well. So what do I do next? I'm going to come in and go into the mask and reset my mask. And invert my mask is what I'm going to actually need to do. Okay, so now what we actually want to do is to paint in the softening. So I have a pretty well feathered brush, opacity around 50%, and we're just going to kind of paint in the skin areas. Okay. Now things that I don't want to go over are things like nostrils or lips or teeth or eyes, eyelashes, things like that. I really want to be, concentrate. Um, nostrils, when you do those, they actually just make the whole image look soft and out of focus. You want to keep things that should be sharp. So this area here, I'm going to actually keep that too. That's If you have areas that are sharp, it makes the softening a little bit more believable as opposed to the entire image just being ultra soft. So coming in here, cleaning up some of this area, and then we'll go over that shoulder. Okay, perfect. So that looks great. Again, probably a little bit stronger than you may want to have it done. So there's a couple options. One, you can go to the opacity and adjust this slider up here. So you can go from no effect to the full effect and anywhere in between. I'm going to keep it just like this, just for demonstration's purpose. Because it'll kind of help us on our next thing that we're going to do. What happens is when you over retouch an image, you're actually taking away the poor structure. 
and that's what kind of gives it that plasticky look so there is a cool way to um, bring back pores and it's not actually bringing back pores it's kind of adding a texture to look like pore structure so I'm going to add a filter it's under the black and white section and we don't want to convert this to a black and white so we're going to change the blending option to luminosity and what that just gave us the ability to do on on one or in on one is to add grain to the image so I'm going to select there's some really good ones here um, I love the Ilford Delta 400 okay that looks real nice um, another one that I use a lot um, just is the Tri-X 400 and that looks great too now if it's too strong you can lower the amount you can change the size but for this it looks really nice now what this does is it actually applied the grain throughout the entire image so you may like that style the other way is we can just apply it to the skin that we retouched and the way that we would do that is to go back on this layer we're going to copy the mask come back up here activate this mask and this layer and paste and you can see that it just placed that mask right here so now the texture that we're adding is coming in just on the skin let's make this just a little bit larger just so you can kind of really see it kick in here and again that's just adding texture back into the skin so it's not getting that plastic -y look all right guys thank you so much for watching another tutorial we'll do some more advanced skin retouching and also hair how i tackle that in some future videos take care thanks for watching